Day in and day out, the sun's energy is pouring heat into a facility. Even in northern climates, this natural energy transfer is occurring, and this natural energy is being captured within the confines of the building. Let's take a look at what happens to this heat when using a traditional air conditioning system. Once this heat is captured in the building, it is then transported through the air conditioning system, where it is rejected back into the outside atmosphere. In essence, building operators are paying to remove this natural heat. On average, this expense represents more than 50% of the building's electricity bill. Now let's take a look at the traditional method of heating water, where operators pay to generate heat. Fuel is purchased by building operators at volatile prices. The fuel then goes through the process of combustion, where it is ignited to the point at which it will release heat. The heat is then transferred to the potable water system, where the hot water is distributed throughout the facility. Note that this fuel-dependent process is both costly and results in the release of carbon into our world's atmosphere. Now let's use Cotherm to combine these two systems. Looking at the air conditioning system first, the sun's energy is absorbed into the hotel guest room and the heat is then transferred to the air conditioning system. But let's not throw out that heat. Now let's take a look at the hot water system where operators pay to generate heat. But let's remove that expense by eliminating the use of fuel. Now it's time for Cotherm. We can direct the heat from the air conditioning system to the Cotherm unit, where the heat is boosted to the desired temperature before being transferred to the water in the hot water tanks. Similar to a heat pump, we have hot water without fuel. The difference is, while using Cotherm, the electric bill remains steady. You see, the heat is actually transferred through the air conditioning system in water. When the Cotherm removes the heat in the air conditioning, it is in essence removing the heat from the water. It then returns that cooled water back into the air conditioning system. By doing so, the Cotherm unit is reducing the load on the air conditioning system by 10 to 30 percent, so the air conditioning system is not working as hard. Therefore, the Cotherm electrical expense is offset by allowing the air conditioning system to work less, erasing the fuel bill for hot water without erasing the electricity bill. Let's look at it this way. Six for the price of one. For every one kilowatt of electricity for Cotherm, the facility receives three and a half kilowatts of heat and two and a half kilowatts of cooling. Traditional heat pumps, on the other hand, give heating or cooling, but not both benefits at the same time. This is referred to as having a useful coefficient of performance equivalent to six.